Hello! In this video, I will show you how to move documents from one document library to another using SharePoint 2013 workflow. To implement such functionality, I used SharePoint Designer and PlumSale Workflow Actions Pack. It can work with a single SharePoint site as well as a cross site. PlumSale Workflow Actions Pack is a set of workflow actions for SharePoint Designer. It provides more than 50 useful workflow actions for SharePoint 2013 and Office 365. As a proof of concept, I created Projects and Archive of Projects document libraries. The Project Library has folders for each project. Each project folder has subfolders with documents. Archive Document Library is empty now. I can click Move to Archive in the context menu of the project folder to move it to the archive library. Once I clicked on the context menu, the workflow started. We have to wait a little bit while workflow is executing. As you can see the folder for Contoso Limited, the project disappeared from the project's library. Now let's navigate to the archive library. The Contoso Limited folder is in the archive now. It has been moved with all subfolders. Now let me show you how the workflow is configured. As you can see, I used only one workflow action, Move Folder from Library. In the workflow action, I specified the source folder URL property. I used the server relative URL field of the current item as a value for this property. The next property is target library URL. I used server relative path to the archive document library as a value. The last property is target path in list. I used the name of the current folder as the value of this property. Thus, the current item will be moved to the archive document library with the same name, but you can specify a different name and the folder will be renamed while moving. Finally, to display the item in the context menu, I created the custom action on the project library. I'll show you that now. As you can see, the custom action is configured to start the archival workflow on the current item. That's all, the workflow is ready to use. In this video, I showed a fairly simple example of moving a folder from one document library to another, but you can go about it in a more complex manner by using various other document processing workflow actions from PlumSale Workflow Actions Pack. To get more information, visit our site, www.plumsale.com.